Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, February the 28th, 2017. Um, sorry that I've, I've been away uh, for about a week. I've been having some uh, family issues uh, with my youngest daughter. For those of you who have been uh, followers of uh, the Vulcan Report for some time, you know that my youngest daughter is uh, on the autism spectrum so it's uh, quite difficult at times um, dealing with that but nonetheless uh, you know we're, we're, we're gonna get through it just like we always do and I uh, just wanted to thank all of you who are in the know thank you for all of your uh, prayers and encouragement and continued support and I'm um, working around all of that to still bring you the book report and to uh, keep you up to breast and what's going on um, so moving right along looking at the uh, the gold chart here on the daily chart during the um, broadcast when I was on live with the uh, the gorilla economists uh, earlier today uh, we did talk about gold because gold was sort of pulling back but as you can see here on the daily chart, what you saw was an inside an inside bar. Okay, as you can see here, this market is still intact. All right, the trend is still up. There's still a great deal of bullish momentum in this market until it isn't. And this is just the daily chart. If you take a look here at the weekly chart, you will notice that the bull case is still also intact. Yes, we are in the Kumo cloud of death, but as you can see, the pent-up energy is still here. So the bull argument for gold is still intact. Can this change overnight? Can this pull back? Can this fail? Yes. And that's because on the weekly chart, we still have not finished building um, the base and building the, the trend. We're still technically kind of like sideways, if you will. Uh, we haven't really crossed on our trend lines, as you can see here. They haven't really crossed yet. We need this uh, this to cross above the orange line here, and we need for both the price action and the trend lines to break outside the Kumo cloud. And that just just has not happened yet. So we're still hopeful. Hopefully that this thing can uh, get some legs here and some upward momentum. But if not, then we it'll, it'll assume that we're topping out right here. And forming sort of like a double top and we would fail here and then we would crash and burn down hard back down toward the 1145 level nobody wants to see that so let's see what happens we're going to trade what we see though if that happens we'll have to get along the paper but in the meantime we're still bullish until we're not same uh, thing could be said for silver we're in this kumo cloud here as you can see the high here though was not quite it up to up to uh, to this level here need to get a little bit higher before we can start saying double top but this still if it can't get up there this still would signify a failed rally if you will all right a failed top and of course this could come down and form a channel back down to 15. we don't want to see that we'll trade what we see if that happens we'll get along the paper but in the meantime here we go this is what we're doing all right so we're still looking for this trajectory to go upwards into the $20 handle. All right, looking here at the argument for natural gas. All right, we're outside of the Kumo cloud. We're trending up. All right, and you see how we came off. We lost that momentum. Now it's it's regaining it back. It's back above 3 bucks, and our target is 344 maybe even 350 so far so good on that one all right now here is the other big deal and that is the US dollar index where goes it well on the weekly you see it also lost its momentum but now it's trying desperately uh, to come back so lost its momentum now it's trying to build it back again I think that the markets are going to kind of like consolidate around here and I think that par 
should be uh, the new low, the new base for support for this move, if it's going to gather legs. I still think we have a, uh, a target of 106 by the end of the year. Anything can happen between now and then. As you can see, it's come off a bit, but I think it still wants to maintain the bullish complexion and wants to make another run at it. We'll see what happens. All right, looking at the NASDAQ 100. All right, it looks like it's still up to the moon. All right, it, 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 it kind of broke, uh, broke momentum intraday here, but here we, we just gained it back again. So it's staying up. All pullbacks are being bought. All pullbacks are being bought. Kind of getting a little top heavy a little bit up in here as it's starting to elongate somewhat, but so not pointing straight up like it was. So we could see further intraday dips like here, but it becoming more pronounced like here. We had here and then it went like that. So I don't know. If we revert back to the mean, you're looking back down to the 5100 level in the weekly chart. I don't know. Uh, if we take a look at the daily chart, we are stretched out, as you can see. It's already stretched out. All right, so it's it loses the momentum, then it gains it right back. So this is where we are right now. It's probably going to bust through here and get up toward 56. So, I mean, it's just the market that keeps on giving. It's just not stopping right now. So we'll see what happens. I mean, there's a lot going on politically and you know, healthcare stocks are coming into play. So there's just a lot going on, a lot of unknowns, uncertainties, and we just have to trade what we see. So do yourself a favor. Come on and educate yourself doing these. I call them down times a little bit. Come on to the, uh, to the Learning Academy and uh, go through these uh, classes so you can learn how to trade these markets and navigate these algorithmic waters. Come see how to hedge your portfolio. See how you can uh, earn a living trading full time, make a additional living, additional income for you and your, your family. Come see what it's all about. Learn how to do this while, uh, while we're in this kind of quiet time, because when things start getting heated up, uh, it's too late to start learning at that point, because now you, the market's going to leave you in the dust. So with that said, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can, give nothing back. Peace.